All right, y'all. Well, welcome back. Uh, I am still up here in Colorado on the road, and I am heading up into the mountains to do a little bit of mountaintop camping tonight. Uh, it's already fairly late in the evening, afternoon, I should say. It's about 4 p.m., uh, and you can see maybe out the window. It's probably really hard to tell, but I'm already climbing up into the mountains and it is a fairly bumpy road. Uh, so we're just gonna get up there and hang out and check out the views. And, and it is a bumpy road, holy, holy crap. All right, well, I need to pay attention to where I'm going so that I don't drive off the edge, but I've got a spot marked up here that looks to be pretty nice, so. Stay tuned, y'all. We'll see how this turns out. Well, y'all, we've made it up, uh, and this is an amazing spot. I know this camera probably doesn't do it justice, but just as far as the eye can see, in basically three directions uh, on top of the mountain here. Back there's the trail that I came up, um, and I'm probably going to end up moving the truck, kind of positioning it how I like, because you can see there have been people down here that have had a fire. Uh, and right over here, somebody has dug out a nice little fire pit, and they've also left some wood to burn. And we are, I am allowed to have a campfire, so we'll see. I need to just kind of figure out ooh, exactly what spot I want to park it at. I might, I might just leave it right where it is, maybe back it up so I have a view uh, out this way Man, can you guys see how far out it goes? It's all around Look at those rocks down there. I mean, it looks like people have gone down there even But I'm gonna get the truck positioned perfectly or as close as I can get it and then it's beer clock. Well, it isn't perfectly level, but it's better than nothing. I kind of backed it up a bit down towards that fire pit that was built up. I had pulled in right up there. So I had to pull her out and back her down, but we are set up. We're just gonna camp here for tonight. I should be fine with this, uh, with the angle of my dangle there. It should be okay, but. I'm gonna grab my step since it's up to my belly button here. And uh, we'll have ourselves a little drinky poo. Ooh. I think that water can just go into the truck for now. I picked this up at a local Walmart uh, when I grabbed some groceries and water. And this is Rogue Newport Days Hazy Pale Ale. Uh, see what she says on the back here. The morning after a long night, we like to hit the beach for some rest and relaxation. Newport Days Hazy Pale Ale is the perfect day sipper for such an occasion. Well, I'm not on the beach anywhere. Featuring mouth-watering tangerine and peach notes from the hops and finishing slightly sweet, it's an easy mellow brew to get you through. And it's 5.5%, 35 ABU, and 12.2 SAM. What's SAM? Is that a new one? I don't know if I've heard that. 
But either way, it's brewed in Newport, Oregon. Crack this guy open. Ooh, elevation. And probably being shook up on the drive up here. Should probably get my bear spray on my belt just in case, because I am in bear country. It's decent. You can definitely tell it's like a kind of like an IPA. I think I was these. <coughs> yeah, let me go grab a koozie. This isn't a tall boy koozie, but shout out to the local Lincoln dudes. All dogs off road. I, ooh. Go away, B. I picked this up at the the expo. B. Don't harass me all night. I'll have to kill you. I just kind of want to relax and drink this beer. Maybe I'll grab my bear spray. We'll take a little wander over there. See what that place is all about. So, been sipping on my beer and I'm standing up here. It's actually sitting over here in the shade because the sun is pounding and I spotted a, a paraglider. You must have a motor. See, I had to break out my phone for this to see if we can zoom in far enough. My other camera wouldn't be able to. Oh, where is he? And I know there's no perspective to the ground because I can barely keep him zoomed in, but if you zoom back out, he'll just disappear. And we're way up here. Let's see how far I can zoom in down there on that town, whatnot. I mean, look at those. Look at those rocks. You can, I think, see some buildings and stuff down there. And we'll walk over here a little ways first and see if we can see the town down there. All right, so I'm standing on a rock here. I'll see if I can hold the camera up and zoom down in there. This town down there. see some big rocks way over yonder but let's go check out behind the truck because there's a bigger ridge back there finished it I don't know. got the fire spray Rolling. Climb on top of this. Let me go check that one out. Yeah. The tree right here kind of blocks some of that, but the sun's pretty pretty bright right now and I'm looking right into it but I'll get a cool sunset out of this still up there it's really hard to find him there he is right in the middle of the screen there you can see him like right up in here top metal he's way up there
All right, I'm gonna climb down there. And then once we walk back up to the truck, since it is actually higher, it's like the highest point right here on this one. Uh, we'll see what our elevation is. Let's do this without falling down. Whew. This is cool, but there is like broken glass all over the place, which kind of sucks. Some of the rock faces down there. Way over there. All right, I grabbed some pictures. Let's go see what our current elevation is. Up at the top of the hill here. The hill, it's the mountain. Come on, the mountain. All right, switched back to my other camera. We'll see if we can find. I don't know where. Give me a second to figure this out. All right, guys. So, like, I don't even know why I didn't think about it, but this Garmin thing that I bought shows elevation. It's my current elevation above sea level. 8,980 feet. Now it says 79 feet. So it moves, so it moves a little bit. Uh, 78 feet. 81 feet. Yeah, so if you move it up and down, it's fairly accurate, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's cool that I could just look at that on here. Anyways, I'm gonna avoid the sun. My truck's the wrong direction, really. To I could put the shade out, but there's a big bush right here, so I've just been chilling on the other side. And the view's kind of better this way, anyways. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang out for a while. Y'all, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. And the temperatures are very good. Let's see if I can tell what it is. Surprisingly, I have one bar of 4G. It's currently 65 degrees. The sun's going down. And we have a low of 48 degrees tonight. So it's gonna be a little bit chilly. When we walk over this way, oh, I can already see it. See the town lights. You can see the town lights down there. Oh man, some of the trees, but yeah. Let me try to find a high. 
high spot. Check out this rock right here. Let me shut my light off and zoom. I'll zoom the camera in a bit. city way down there how far can I zoom in dang I can't hold it still but we'll zoom all the way out and it won't brighten it up until I zoom into right there You can see a few lights. Oh, this looks way brighter on camera right now. It's hard to hold steady. Yeah, that's zoomed all the way out. And you can see over there maybe my truck. Just barely the license plate flashing. So yeah, that's a long way away, y'all. But, uh, I don't know how this looks, probably terrible. But, uh, this does have a good zoom. It's a S22 Ultra. So you can zoom in quite a ways. Oh, and I can see the moon over there. You zoom in on that a little bit. Dang, look at that. Starting to get cold really fast. Fifty six degrees according to this. It cooled off fast. Ugh. Got all this junk on me. Bear spray. Leave that out. Oh man, I gotta get back out. My pajamas are in the cab of the truck. But, uh, I'll eat some dinner first. I'm hungry. Whew. That unlocked. Yeah, I can actually close these windows a bit. gonna do anything too crazy tonight I thought about kind of doing this over the over the fire but I really don't want to sit out there any longer because I'm starting to shiver all I have is a hoodie with me uh, did not bring a coat didn't really think it was gonna get that cold out some of that and 
Got some more food under the bed, I believe. Got some other junk in there, but got some chicharrones here. So I've got some fried pork skins. Uh, these are queso flavored, and we've got some buns here. We've got some smoked smokehouse cheddar. We've got some deviled egg macaroni salad, and we've got some sliced ham. So. Like I said, we're going pretty simple tonight. Uh, ham sandwiches, uh, chicharrones, and some deviled egg macaroni salad. I need a spoon for all of this. We'll be using our leftover brat buns from a few videos back. Myself. Some paper towels out. So I got too much stuff all the time. I don't know what I'm going to use the hot sauce on. Maybe the salad. I should have a plate for that though. I guess I do. I don't know. We'll get to it. i to open this bag up so it's not so big. It's huge because of the pressure. Goes. I'm so high up. queso mm. that's some good stuff I'm gonna go cheese first or meat first I don't know Gonna put cheese on first. I don't have any mayo or mustard or anything. Maybe we'll. All right. We're just gonna make a spicy sandwich. We're gonna put some of this Goon Squad's dang sauce. It's Chipotle lime hot sauce. So this was sent into the channel, but. Uh, these guys are also a YouTube channel, I guess. So we're going to give this a whirl and see what it's all about. So you can check out that YouTube channel, Goon Squad. We'll see what the hot sauce is all about. Get off my finger. We'll just put her right on top of this Ooh, it smells a bit spicy i don't know what i'm doing this might be a hot one put some cheese on both sides the meat. Nothing special. stuff up make sure it's nice and chopped up and of course we'll crutch up a few chicharrones on there Ooh, that's a big one
fingers are messing up. I don't know what I'm doing here, but we'll put this in our mouth a little bit here. The hot sauce is soaked into the bread. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I'm tasting it. I don't know if I've got enough on there. I mean, it's not nothing super spicy right now. Mm. Devil Dave macaroni salad. Not a bad dinner, but we're going to put some more of this sauce on here. It's going to go right on top. Not too much, but just enough. Oh. Try not to spill it everywhere, but that's good. Mm. Good flavor. It's not super spicy. A petal of the metal mashup of chipotle, ancho, red, jalapeno, habanero, and fresh lime. It's smoky, a little tangy, and bursting with just enough heat and a kick of sweet. Crack this sucker open, slather it on your favorite foods, and give us a big dying son. I'll be honest with you, uh, I can't say I've ever watched one of their videos, but I'll have to check it out tonight. Mm. Be nice to have some actual queso. I guess we have some dang old sauce here. Try this. Mm. It's a good sauce. Oh, look at the size of that chicharrone. That's a monster. It's like half a hot dog bun. Mm. It's a good sauce. Got everything cleaned up and grab my pajamas, sheets and stuff. Rolled out here. gonna hang out for a bit and check some comments and watch some YouTube and get headed to bed here and uh, get up early and probably do some editing and then get headed on out of here so I'll see you oh, I'll see you guys in the morning Mm-hmm. 
6 08 in the morning. It's pretty early, y'all. It's 49 degrees out there. Uh, my thermometer says it's about 52, 54 in here. And the sun's just coming up behind me. But I gotta get up and get some work done. I gotta do some editing. This morning. Oh. <coughs> Do some editing and head on down the road. But, uh, yeah, it's time to get up. Get some coffee shoved in me at least. Get woke up. Oh, man. Yeah. Slept great last night. Uh, see if you guys can see the light out there. There. Let me shut my lights off inside here. There we go. I know my windows are really dirty, but yeah. Uh, sun is coming up. There. Let me just use this light because the other ones are super bright. Yeah. All right, it's coffee time. Let's go with some classic Folgers. Nothing fancy. Sun is bright. It's coldest has been in a while. Coldest night I've slept in in a while. It's, I mean, it's not bad. But I definitely didn't think ahead on that one. Like, it's the heaviest clothes I have with me. I suppose I could put extra layers on. But I don't have any extra sheets or anything. I just have this quilt. Camping quilt, which is fine. It's plenty warm, especially if you have all of this on. There we go. Nice, strong cup of coffee there. Give that a few minutes to brew up. Give this a few minutes to cool down. Oh man. This has gotta be the hardest part of going on longer trips is uh, editing and not that it's hard to edit but it's hard to take myself it's hard to take myself away from what I'm doing to do this type of stuff uh, and take you know the time out of my day that I want to be enjoying the scenery or being on the road you know to sit around and do this type of stuff but Obviously, this is what I have to do. So, it is what it is. Um, actually, looking at Starlink, I thought it was a bit more pricey than it actually was. I mean, it's not a cheap thing to get. Uh, but, if you have the stuff, 
that you need, you know, you have the actual Starlink setup, you can uh, just pay like month to month for the service. So you don't have to sign up for a contract, I guess, uh, because I wouldn't need it all the time. But for something like this, where I'm on the road for a while, it would be incredibly beneficial if I could have just sit up here. Like I'd just stay up here for a couple of days, edit all the content that I have right now that I need to edit. I've got like three videos that I need to edit. I could have sat up here and just edited all of these and uploaded them from the top of the mountain and then hit the road. But I don't have that luxury yet. <clears throat> but we will look at getting that probably and seeing how it works. We got power. Luckily, all my footage is already on my laptop, so I'm gonna sit down and do this which isn't going to be the most enjoyable way to spend my morning, but it's what I have to do to bring the story to you. <clears throat> I need my coffee. Probably don't need my lid on there, but we'll keep it handy just in case. Did not need the bear spray last night, thankfully. There we go. I guess if you, uh, you gotta do this, doing it on top of a mountain with that view, Ain't bad. All right, y'all. Well, I finished editing the video. It's saving. It's still going to take like 20 minutes to save. It's a 28-minute video. That was the, the camping in the big fancy gazelle tent. That's the one I just edited. My battery box is just screaming over here trying to keep up with this thing. But I'm kind of getting some of my stuff packed up as soon as this finish, finishes. As soon as this finishes saving, I'm going to get headed out of here. Uh, where did my phone go? What time it is? Where did my phone go? Right over yonder. It's 9.24 in the morning. So, didn't take me too terribly long. But I still have to go find myself somewhere in a town to try to get this uploaded. Because I actually need to get this video out today. So, uh, yeah. This, this is going to get finished saving up and then we're going to get headed down the road.
right, y'all. Well, I've made it off the trail and I'm kind of back onto the main road here. And uh, I'm headed into a local town to find some Wi-Fi to upload this video. But I'm going to go ahead and close this one out here. Uh, it was a really, really cool spot to camp at. Uh, and the fact that I was up here completely by my lonesome was the best part. Oh, there's a giant, giant rock in front of me. Look at that thing. It's a big boulder. I'm driving off the road. All right, y'all. I gotta pay attention to where I'm going. But uh, like I said, I'm headed on down the road to do some more adventuring. And uh, I guess, big bump. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.